Hi, I'm Tracy from the Brisbane Goannas. Okay, so this year we're getting new jerseys, new uniforms, and uh, so to take advantage of it, our team wants to also have matching helmets. Um, so a lot of times we all have like black helmets, white helmets, uh, one of our girls has red helmets. This year we all kind of want to have matching helmets to make our new jerseys look cool. We want them to look something like this. Uh, okay. Okay, so the problem is I have a black helmet and I want it to be white. Um, so instead of spray painting it, uh, I'm going to use this stuff called Plasti Dip. So the idea is to be able to spray it all white, put my Goanna's decals on it, and at the end of the season I can just take it off and no harm, no foul. Helmet's just the same as it was, but for this season it's going to be white. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the, the cage and... Um, all these little clips off and mask the helmet so that I can plasti dip it. So I'll start that and get back to you. Okay, so just so you can get an idea of what it's like to take this off once you're done with it, this is a remnant from a previous plasti dip. And it's almost like um, when you spray it on it, it creates a layer of like latex and stuff, and you can just peel it right off like a little bit of balloon skin. Do it right there so you can see it just kind of comes off. And there's the skin, and your helmet's completely like unchanged. So, easy on, easy off. Magic. Okay, so I've got all of the cage and all of the clips mostly like taken off. Um, I could take these screws off, but I'm just gonna tape, I'm just gonna mask those off. So, I'm gonna start to mask um, with. Oops, sorry. I'm going to start to mask with some masking tape and um, basically what I want to do is block off all the areas um, that I don't want to be covered in the spray. Okay. Okay, so I basically got like all of the um, bits masked around the edges here. So um, what I'm thinking is that um, when, I, when I spray this there's all these holes and stuff throughout the helmet like these little air holes and air pockets now if spray gets inside there um it, it could just cause an overspray and um situation where like the inside of my helmet gets gets white and um I, I don't i don't want that to be in there so i'm going to basically stuff um newspaper down into these little orifices to just plug these holes from the inside and i'll just do that kind of methodically stuffing little pieces of paper through these little holes to plug them up so I'll do that and then we'll start spraying. Okay, so um, you can see I've stuffed a little bit of paper into all these little holes and um, over here you can see that the paper is like kind of protecting these holes from being sprayed into. And that way I'm not gonna get over spray on the inside of my helmet because I don't know, I don't just want little white flecks of it. Plastic bit coming out and to finish off the masking, I'm just going to take a big piece of paper and just shove it into the cavity there so that it's protected from the outside in from the bottom. And now we've got a masked helmet all ready to go and we can start um, spraying this. So that's what we'll do next. One other thing I did forget is these little screws. So um, just put a little piece of mask tape over those. Um, yep, I'll do that now. Then I put some mask on that little screw, or you can just unscrew it. That's probably easier, but I don't know. Probably end up losing half the screws. Okay, so I could try unscrewing this, but I'm just gonna mask it. It's it's easy to do that. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna put my first uh, coat of plastic dip on. It's gonna be a very light coat to start with. Very light. Okay. Oh god. All right. Here we go. Yeah, I can almost, almost see like Okay, that's first coat. It's just a little dusting coat. Um 
And then um, the second coat, uh, I'm gonna just wait like maybe like 10 minutes for this one, and then I'm gonna hit it with the heavy coat, and um, and then maybe one more coat after that, maybe two. Um, and we'll see how we go. Uh, I just got it. Um, I want to try to hit it with all angles on my next coat, um, so I've got it resting like on a beer bottle, so I can kind of spin it. So yeah, good. Okay, let's go for uh, all right coat two here. <clears throat> this one's gonna be a little bit more heavy. Try not to breathe this stuff in. I should probably wear better protective stuff. This should be kind of a wet coat. Don't want drips, but you want it to have like a shiny wet kind of look to it. Try to hit it at all angles. And I think that's probably going to be wet enough. I know this is dirt coming yeah, off of it. There, so it's all right. You get a good, get a good look at how it's come out so far. Oh man, there's a bug on it already. <laughs> Hopefully, it flies off. Otherwise, I'll have to help him off. Okay. Yeah, so it's already looking pretty white. One more coat and I think it's going to be um, pretty white. Okay, we'll come back for that coat in a minute. Okay, this is going to be my last coat. I'm going to hit it one more time with a pretty wet coat. It um, should be good enough. Good enough for me anyway. I'm, I'm not really a perfectionist, but... Basically, you can use this as a as a mat too, like or a, what do you call it, a primer. So if you wanted to go another color, like if your team's red or something, you can go from this white to whatever color you want. It's a good base to to do another color on too as well. Like when I painted my helmet blue, I started with white. Enough for me, I'd say. They get a real wet. A little wet layer on it. Alright, that's good enough for me. It's pretty white. Okay, so you can see. Yeah, we're looking pretty white here. Like you can't even see in the. You can almost see it says flower there, but it's mainly covered. And now we're going to add some vinyl stickers there and there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I think it'll dry pretty pretty good. It'll, it, it'll, for all practical purposes, be a white helmet for this year. And, um, yeah, cool. Okay, so I've got all of my um, the little clips and stuff back on the helmet. It's basically ready to wear. Um, it's all white. It's ready. Um, so now comes the part where you want to add your vinyl. So this part is a, 
I'm getting achieved by having um, this machine. This is cutting little goannas stickers out and these little white um, goanna stickers are gonna go on top of these little blue goanna stickers which are gonna go on the helmets. So, and these are all the, the numbers for all my teammates. So we're gonna make these, so we're all gonna have matching helmets. Um, I think it's cool. Uh, I think every team should basically buy one of these little cry cut things or somebody on your team has one, like you can make all your own custom stuff for your team. Um, and that's what I'm using to get this done for my team. Uh, so I really love it. So pops to cry cut. This is what it is. Um, anyway, so we'll get this done and then we're going to put the uh, stickers on the summit and get this done. Okay. Okay, I've got um, my uh, last decal here, and I'm just going to try to take us through putting it on. So I'm going to uh, take the, the transfer, uh, sorry about this, transfer tape off. I'm doing this one-handed so I can hold this, um, this uh, phone. And I've got my helmet here. And then I want to um, put it on the right side up and place it basically on the helmet. And you want to start in the middle. Make sure you get it kind of where you want it. You want to press it, press it down like. I think once you get it placed to kind of where you want it, it's kind of lightly on there. And you're happy with that and that looks okay to me you press it down in the middle and then you work the main body out and then, and then you can press the little legs down and it's okay if your paper gets crinkled at this stage as long as the decal goes down flat you're great so once those go down Yeah, you can peel off the, the transfer tape a bit. And ooh, nice. Little bit of a thing. Okay, and then we want to take our, uh, our little letters and then we'll put those on next. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Um, just gonna cut these out quickly. Bear with me. Bear with me in a second. Terrible videoing. My fault. I'm new at this. This is my first video. Okay, so we basically got this going. This is on the transfer tape, and we're gonna just gonna stick it on where it's supposed to be. First three look good. I'll lay those down. Ooh. First three look good. I'll lay those down. It's a little bit off. I'm doing this one handed. I think it would be easier if I. Uh, this camera. Next time I'm going to get the camera to be settled. And then. A little far out. Okay. Hang on. Let me put this down. <laughs> I'll complete this. Not one handed. And then get back. Okay guys, so the helmet's pretty much done. Um, we've got the Goanna stickers, we've got the jersey number, and we've got the other side done. And um, optionally we can add another jersey number to the top, but I'm not sure what the team wants to do yet, so I'm just going to leave it off for now, but basically this is going to be a pretty, pretty cool looking uh, helmet for our team, and uh, that's how you do it. Cheers!